hello guys this is Dries here and today I'm going to make a quick video on this call apply and bind in JavaScript uh, initially I was going to create separate videos especially for this and then call apply and bind however I decided to make a single one just because I believe they are very related to each other so we will start with this so if I go to my next slide so the value of this in javascript would always be immediate parent object so let me just give you some examples here so if we do a console log here and we will console log this and this is going to give us window object uh, the reason it is giving us window object because for this console log the parent object is window object okay so we can test that if we do triple equal and do window and it's gonna return us true all right so let's do another example so if we create a function here and then what I'm going to go and move this uh, console log into this function and save and then invoke this okay so this is still going to give us window object uh, the reason it is giving us window object because this f and c is sitting in this global scope so where the parent object for this f and c would be uh, window object okay so this is why it is still giving us window object okay so which is a really bad practice we can prevent that happening by using use strict uh, and if we do this then it would give us undefined okay so I'm gonna keep this and below this I'm going going to create an object here and this object may have uh, a property and value I'm gonna give my name as a value and then we gonna put a function here as well so I'm gonna go and do greet user and this is going to be a function and for now we will just say console log and we do a, this All right and here I'm gonna go and do user and then greet user and invoke this function so as we can see if here we are getting window object uh, let me just actually remove this use strict okay so um, we're gonna get window object here and here we should get user of uh, object because this greet user is sitting in this user uh, object which means the parent object for this greet user is this user object okay uh, for this greet user function okay so if we save this of course we're gonna get window and then this uh, object which is user so we can uh, again do the test just to avoid any confusion so there we go we are getting true because this here in this function which is this greet user this is this user okay the, because the parent object for this uh, this function is this user okay so very easy very uh, simple to understand uh, next I'm gonna go and remove this function and I'm going to keep this uh, object because I'll be using this in few next uh, examples okay and let's just make this slightly sensible so we will say hello and then uh, user it's not sorry uh, that would be this because we want we are trying to explain this here okay so this start name which is same as because this is user actually so this is gonna give us hello address because this is user and user has a property uh, name okay so this dot name would be a Dries okay and next let's just go in this under this name and create another property uh, which will be computer and we want to create a nested object here within this user okay which is this computer object okay and then I want to move this uh, greet function into this computer object instead because we want computer to say uh, greeting to this user okay so 
gonna give us an error because we want to do computer and then sorry that should be computer and then grid user and now if we save this and invoke this grid user uh, we're gonna get undefined uh, okay so it is saying hello undefined because here this is undefined again the reason is because uh, we are in in this nested object which is this computer not in user anymore so this nested object computer it has no idea what this uh, dot name is because this has no name property as uh, so this is why it is giving us undefined it is saying it doesn't has name okay so how do we rectify this problem so this is where uh, our call apply and bind come in okay so to do this I'm gonna go and do the call first so we all we can do is basically do a call on this greet user and we need to set the value of this here okay the way do we do it we do uh, on them on, on the method or a function we do a call and then we put the first parameter or the first argument uh, whatever value we want to set as this so here we want to set user as this okay because we um, we are in this computer and instead of computer we want to set user as this okay so now now if I save this it's gonna go and say hello Idris because we are setting the value of this as a user object and next say if this function is receiving some uh, parameters say task okay and then here we can say your main task for today is sorry task and we need to pass this task here so how do we do this so with call all we have to do is comma separated and then we can just pass our uh, parameters so maybe uh, make YouTube uh, video okay and if we save this then it's gonna get uh, passed into this okay so hello there is your main task for today is to make YouTube video okay so very easy very simple and the same thing happens with apply as well so if we do apply the only difference here would be apply uh, gets we're gonna get error because this is what I'm going to explain so with the apply we be passing in array instead of just comma separated we just pass an array and then within array we can do comma separate and then we can just pass as many as we want here okay and then we just keep going so but I'm not gonna do that so very simple very easy uh, the problem with call and apply uh, I'm gonna go and do my next slide is this a function with call and apply needs to be invoked immediately as you can see here okay uh, say actually I should have uh, told you another give you another example basically so uh, let me just do that actually so say if we have a, another user user 2 okay and that user has maybe that user is uh, John All right and we want to have this greed user function for John as well for this user user too so all we have to do is basically uh, here when we are bind uh, sorry when we are doing apply or call or bind we need to do the for this reference we need to do the two here okay and we can just change this uh, parameter to maybe uh, write book and if we save this this first one is going to say hello Dries and then the task and the second one is going to say hello John and then the task is a uh, write book okay uh, just because here with the first one we are uh, giving the reference of this to user and with the second one we are giving user to okay 
so that's the another use of uh, ploy call and bind and however the problem we are immediately invoking this okay so what what if we have to we don't want to invoke immediately how do we do this and this is where bind bind comes in okay uh, let me just I don't know why so what does bind do uh, it returns a copy of that function after binding it to the where whatever we are binding it to okay so the way it works basically if I just change this to bind and this as well okay so now this is going to return as a functions which means we need to save it so I'll just do create create one and then and then maybe I'll just copy this and change this to grid two right and if I save this now we have of functions stored into these variables okay so uh, and also sorry uh, we can just remove these parameters okay we are just binding we are not invoking okay so which means we are just binding uh, here we are binding this to the user object and here we are binding this to the user to object okay so what we can do is basically we can do greet one and then we can pass our uh, parameters for this task okay even if there are more than one but here in the, in our this example we have only one so we would pass only one okay so first one maybe uh, explain uh, call apply by with this <laughs> okay <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying and then if we just uh, do agree to and here we may say uh, I don't know watch movie and now we're gonna get hello there is your main task to do it today is to explain call apply and bind with this and hello June your main task is for today is watch movie so event apparently we are just binding it first and then we are invoking it later with uh, because the function is stored into these variables all right so this is it for this video guys uh, I hope you have learned something from it and I I hope you did like the video so please do like the video if you do and also very important please uh, remember to subscribe to my channel so I'll see you next time thank you so much have a great time